Do you have the CVX gene? Do you smell ammonia when you're in the shower or after you exercise? Or do you fear, feel irritable, have headaches, get muscle cramps, and have these experiences after you eat high levels of sulfur in foods like garlic and onions and eggs? Well, you might be interested in this video. Hi, I'm Kimberly. I make videos about health and wellness. I had Lyme disease for over 14 years, and I am now spreading the little bits of random pieces of information I've picked up over the years from experiencing all of this. So the CVS gene is a mutation that occurs when the body has very high levels of ammonia because it cannot produce... Um, the word I'm looking for. Um, it can't metabolize the sulfur in the way that it's supposed to. So you end up um, having excess ammonia that floats around your system because instead of that sulfur um, turning into urea, which is what you pee out, which kind of has that ammonia-like smell to it in your pee, it stays in your system and floats around as ammonia for a really long time. So there is one supplement that has really helped me with um, coping with this high ammonia, um, and this is yucca root, or yucca root, however you want to pronounce it. And um, brand doesn't matter. This is definitely not a brand deal. Um, this is just what has helped me. It helps to grab onto excess ammonia that's floating around the body and then carry it out. So it attaches to it instead of the ammonia just continuously cycling through your system. It like grabs little pieces of it and then it like helps bring it out of your body so that it doesn't continue causing inflammation and muscle cramps and irritability. So and the CVS gene can be tested through 23andMe or Genomind or different things like that that show that you have this. If you're eating eggs and you notice that you stink afterwards, <laughs> that maybe you only smell it, sometimes other people can smell it. Um, there is something to do with the body heating up and the uh, exercise. So if you're taking a hot shower, you might like all of a sudden smell like this ammonia in your nose. Um, I've heard of many different people talking about this. And um, in that case, other people can't smell it. And so they're like, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, sometimes it comes out as BO and then other people can smell it and they might be telling you that you smell like ammonia. Um, this has been something that has been slowly getting better for me as I have been coming more into balance with um, everything in my life and uh, my health is greatly improving. And so our genes turn on and turn off and do a bunch of different things throughout our lives. So know that if you are experiencing this, that it's not a permanent thing. It doesn't mean that your genes have entirely mutated. You still have plenty of genes in your system that are working. It's just that some of them have turned off and so now um, you can bring that back as your health or as your health like returns um, and you start finding more balance in your life like these genes will come back to a, a proper working environment so that is just something that has really really helped me is the yucca root and eating a lower sulfur diet um, in general I still eat a lower sulfur diet I can have garlic and I can have onions and I can have eggs every once in a while though I'm mostly plant-based um, even some nuts were really causing the high sulfur macadamia nuts um, hummus is really high in sulfur there's, um, you just look up a low sulfur diet, you'll see that these things might be helping you. So even if you're not smelling the ammonia, um, you might be feeling these symptoms after you eat these foods. So if you look up the diets that are high in sulfur, uh, fish is going to be another thing. Anything from the sea is going to be high in sulfur. That um, eating these foods might be triggering this uh, inflammation response in the body. So um, just correlating between the eating these foods and then seeing how you feel afterwards can make a huge difference. Sometimes it's just a elimination process for a couple weeks, which I know is never fun. However, if you do that and you notice that it's really uh, making your symptoms go away, then it might be worth it for you to try it. So um, 
that's just a little bit about the CBS gene and sulfur and um, I hope that it helps you. Please leave, give me a like if you like this video and you learned something from it. Um, leave a comment down below if you have this gene or if you have noticed something with sulfur uh, or if you've tried yucca root. Um, <laughs> let me know. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye.